What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, we're back on the weird angles. I'm sorry. It is your boy, El Tortilla, in the building. I know that the angles are goofy. Look, again, I haven't got the tripod yet. So once I get that, it'll be good. I got to keep looking out because I look straight. Usually, I'm looking at a camera. This time, I'm not looking at a camera. Look down. Okay. I'm going to show you guys the NFL draft order. I actually pull, have it pulled up here. I, not, I don't need to like screen share it or anything. So I'm just going to talk to you about it. NFL draft order is something that we're very focused on right now as Lions fans because we are not winning football games. And if you're not a Lions fan, you're joining this video. Welcome in. Uh, we're going to be talking about the draft order a little bit. So today the Lions lost to again the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And there was this one quote some wise man told me. And this is probably the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life. He said, every time you lose, you don't win. Which obviously is uh, a really good one. Okay, that, that taught me a lot. You know, like if I'm losing... I'm not winning. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, cool. So there's always positives to take away because like we didn't win, but in this situation, maybe we didn't really lose. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that wise man was kind of, kind of wacky, you know, because I don't know who that guy was. Some dude that, some dude at Target or something. Basically, we lost, but maybe it was actually a good thing because we set ourselves up, not this week, but next week to move up in the, should I say draft order? In the draft order, yes. Because now the Lions hit at 3, 10, and 1, and we have two weeks left in the season, and right now we didn't currently move up, but every single team above us, second, third, and fourth, all of those teams currently have three wins. So we're all tied with the same amount of wins. The only difference is we have that one tie. And everybody was saying in the beginning of the season, oh, that tie could come back to bite us. Well, not in the same way that we thought, like the playoffs. No, it actually came back to bite us when it comes to the draft order. Boy, how things change. Yes, actually, it's hurting us in the draft order right now because we have that half game lead. But it did set us up with this loss next week to at least move up one spot. Why is that? It's because the Giants actually played the Dolphins, I believe. No, excuse me. The Giants played the Dolphins this weekend. So that you know, force one of those teams to lose. Next up, the Giants will play the Redskins. So that means the Giants, who are the second team in the draft order, and the Redskins, who are third in the draft order, both 3-11, and 11, someone's got to win. Now, if they both tie, then there's going to be some weird things there, but I'm assuming one will win. So that means whoever wins will go past us, so actually drop that far, will at least be the fourth, the fourth team in the draft selection, okay? Now, Cincinnati... They look like they're the clear number one um, with New York winning today over the Miami Dolphins. Doesn't look like there's any chance that they move. So Cincinnati has kind of just like buried themselves in that number one spot. But there is potential that we could move up to that second spot. Now, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about for all them tank, tank for Chase lovers is the fact that Chase Young may not be there. But the thing is with the NFL draft order, it's not just about the first pick. No, no, no. It's also about the second, the third, the fourth, and all the round picks because you still have a higher pick in the draft. So the Lions have an opportunity after this loss to potentially move up in the draft order because second, three, third, and fourth all have three wins. And we're going to see either the Giants or the Redskins, right? The Giants or the Redskins? Yes, we're going to see either the Giants or the Redskins move up next week. So we're going to at least get one more spot because unless we beat the Broncos, which I'll see it happening, okay? Even if we were trying to win the game, I still think we'd probably lose. So there you go. I just want to give you guys your draft order update. It's going to be very interesting. Cincinnati is going to get that number one spot. Uh, when you look at the Giants, have the Redskins and the Eagles left. So if they beat the Redskins, then they will go behind us. Now, if they lose to the Redskins, then the Redskins will go behind us and we move to the four spot, move Miami up and and, uh, keeping the Giants where they are in Cincinnati is obviously above all of us. And then maybe we hope they beat the Eagles, which could potentially happen, but I don't think it necessarily will. No matter what, whoever loses that game to Dallas and the Eagles game will basically lose the division. So that's kind of how that will go. So it's really coming down to that game. So I think the Giants will get the second pick or the Redskins will, but you never know because Redskins, they play the Cowboys and after. So you see how I mean? Like these are all teams that are competing. So it's going to be tough. We got to hope for upsets there, but there is potential to move to that second pick. So, uh, you find the good in everything. You got to look for the positives, people. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts, comments below. I know we're talking about next year. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what else to talk about. Thank you, Brad, for watching. Oh, snap. And also, check out the Dodge Shop. Link is in the description, or you can look it up on Google. New shirt has dropped. We don't tank. We stank. I have some other ideas that I may throw up there, too. So thank you, Brad, for watching, and I'm out.